Wednesday. I'm Ivy Fong from Malaysia. Today, I'm going to share with you how we're supposed to code more but ended up organize more events. Of course, PyCon. And when I start working in the very beginning of the century, I start my career in a very small town called Dawal in Sabah. There weren't many programmers in that small town and we basically have to do everything ourselves. I have to make the LAN cable or get under the table to hook the cable to the network socket. And I need to repair computers. There are thousands of computers in the whole companies. And if one breakdowns in every year, there's more than enough for us to repair. And during that period of time, I learned a lot and I did my first program by myself, of course, with the help of the senior in Visual Basic about a vehicle tracking program. Now, don't you think that this program would use GPS to track where the vehicle is? No. During that period of time, GPS is not common at all. What the program does is to track the mileage of the vehicle used by any person and when it needs to be serviced and um, what is the details of the car. That's the program that I did. During that period of time, we used local area network because internet wasn't that popular or easy to access. So we need to carry around the thumb drive with the program we did and go to set it up in every computer that need to use that. It has been a very great learning experience for me. However, during the period of time, some system catch up like Microsoft Access that can handle simple uh, programming with database and management system. And I do think that, hey, this program can easily replace what we are doing. Because I, I have that kind of thought. It's because the program that I was doing is fairly simple. It's just the tracking of the information. And that's pretty much it for me. And how wrong was I? And I barely scratched the surface of the whole programming world. Because of that thinking in me and that is the lack of guidance and people show me the, the possibilities of the future, of course, it's easier to blame others than blame myself not finding out or having such a shallow thought about what programming can do. I left the IT scene and moved on to marketing and management for a good 10 plus years. About 4-5 years ago, I feel like I have enough of marketing and sales and management because they are very territory bound. So I would like to move on to something can let me work anywhere in the world. I do write a lot. A lot and I do make quite a good, nice pocket money from writing articles, but that is not good enough. I think I can do more with that, my writing skills, my language skills. And what better than picking up the programming language again, knowing that it can do so much nowadays that, than what I thought 10 years back. The naive, the naive me. So I decided to start coding again and the language I decided to pick up is Python. Well, because of the 10 years of my career, people around me, none of them were actually a coder or a developer. So the process has been very slow. I don't really, I don't even know what Python can do for me or what I can get out of it. So later on, I came across the community that organized PyCon, PyCon MY. So I think, huh, 
maybe if I surround myself with all the people who are talking about Python, I could be picking up the language, the skills much faster. So I volunteer myself to help out in organizing PyCon MY 2019 and I love it. After that, I volunteer myself to be the chairperson for PyCon APEC 2020. I thought that like we are so ready to have a great time in my home state, Sabah, in a hotel that look out to the ocean with what they say the best sunset you can have in the world. And we could not do that and we have to move everything online in a very short period of time. But we did it. And the feedback saying that the format we use is very different and very refreshing. Now, up until now, I have been keep on talking about myself, myself, myself. What the benefits of hearing my story? Here comes it. Through all this journey of me discovering myself, being in a community like PyCon and helping out in organizing the event, actually do not stop me from coding even though I do not code as much as I thought but it actually helped me learn a lot and let me summarize to you why I say it so first I learned that what Pythons are good for by just hearing from the other speakers talking to the speakers secondly I still do not know that like which niche I want to go into. By knowing all this, it helped me to focus and it helped me to know what it is. Thirdly, thanks to the enlightenment from seniors, they let me know that to be in the community, you do not need to know coding very well because we meet every type of people. I write and document and do training for a living. And thanks to experienced senior like Carol Billings, who let me know that documentation is very important and you don't really have to know Python to be in the community. That I learn to appreciate the skill I have and what I can contribute to the community. So along this whole journey of me finding whether I should be coding more or doing other related stuff, I find that we don't have to give ourselves a definition so soon. I might be organizing events more, but one day I could be coding more than today. In anything you do, as long as you set your mindset that you want to learn, you'll find something you can learn out of whatever you do, even if you just learn one thing out of it. Before I end my sharing over here, if you agree with me that organizing an event like PyCon would give you a lot of insight and learning as well, do join me in organizing PyCon 2020 MY. Now, you don't have to be a Malaysian to help out in PyCon MY because we need you. <laughs>